beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Every journey, even of a thousand miles, begins with a single step. The Congregation of the Servants of the Holy Spirit is one of the three congregations founded by St. Arnold Jensen. St. Arnold Jensen was born in a simple family in Germany in 1837. The seed of faith, love for Trinity, zeal for mission was cultivated in him by his God-fearing family. He was a man deeply rooted in God and the mystery of the Blessed Trinity takes hold of him completely. His God experience stimulates him to dedicate his whole life in sharing God's mission. When he knew through prayer and discernment that it was God's will to start such an enterprise, he envisioned bringing up missionary congregations of men and women who would become a leaven in the world. To give expression to this vision, he founded first the Society of the Divine Word Missionaries known as SVDs on the 8th of September 1875 in Steyl, a Dutch village bordering Germany. October 1887 Arnold Jensen made a personal dedication to the Holy Spirit. Later, realizing the significant role of women in the process of evangelization, particularly in situations where men could not reach out, he laid the foundation of the congregation Missionary Sisters Servants of the Holy Spirit, known as SSPS, on the 8th of December 1889, with Blessed Maria Helena Stollenwerk and Blessed Josepha Hendrina Stenmans as co-foundresses. As his missionaries went out to distant lands, he realized the importance of continuous prayers for the needs of the missions, and for this purpose, he founded the third congregation, Sisters Servants of the Holy Spirit of Perpetual Adoration, on the 8th of December, 1896. The missionary character of Arnold's foundation was made possible in the early sending of sisters to different parts of the world, to all the continents. Six years later after the founding, in 1895, sisters were missioned to Argentina, 1897 to Togo, 1899 to Papua New Guinea, 1901 to the United States, 1902 to Brazil, 1905 to China, 1908 to Japan, 1910 to the Netherlands, 1912 to Austria, the Philippines, Germany and Mozambique, and 1914 to Hungary. This is the story of the first 25 years of founding SSPS communities in 13 countries. And the mission continues. We are around 3,500 sisters working in 50 countries. To actualize the dream of our founder, with the focus on the charism and spirituality of our congregation, we involve ourselves in various ministries as per the needs of the time. The SVDs had done the spade work for the beginning of our congregation in India. On the 6th of February 1933, the first four of our pioneering SSPS sisters from Style in the Netherlands arrived on the shores of Mumbai, India and moved to Indore, our first mission house. They engaged in education and health ministries. Over the years, the Indian segment of the congregation began to grow in number and strength. Around 450 Indian sisters 
hailing from different states of India. From these, nearly 70 of the sisters are working in overseas missions, thus making our presence felt throughout the world. At present in India, we have four provinces, namely India South, India Central, India East and India Northeast. We are spread across 15 states, having 55 communities making our presence felt by people with our various apostolates according to the needs of the time and place. Just as the sculpture is to the marble, so is the education to the soul, said Confucius. Every piece of marble has a statue in it waiting to be carved, formed and to be brought out by the touch of a skilled person by chipping away the unwanted parts. So also, to bring out the hidden worth of each student, the sisters have equipped the schools with skilled and qualified staff. Through availability, patient listening and caring, sisters manifest God's healing touch. Prioritizing the well-being of the sick who need health care assistance, sisters moved to interior places setting up dispensaries and hospitals. In 1967, Holy Spirit Hospital at Andheri East made its humble beginning. In the course of the years, as per the needs of the time and place, it has grown into a multi-speciality hospital. Inspired by the life-giving Spirit of God, our mission at Holy Spirit Hospital is to respect life through person-oriented quality health care for all. The nursing education provides sound values, professional competence and the dignity of labor. Women domestic workers. Their worth is not counted. They speak, but their words are not heard. They weep. But no one pays heed to their cries and they are neglected. Now they have found a platform to pour out their grievances and demands for their rights. Legal assistance is given to women who are defenseless and are treated unjustly. Liberation of women from corrupt social practices is the primary concern of the sisters, servants of the Holy Spirit. Prison Ministry They live behind huge walls, experiencing uncertainty and gloom. But the liberating presence of the sisters helps many to be transformed. The sisters help prisoners to look beyond the walls of the prison. HIV AIDS Taking care of the people with HIV AIDS finds a prominent place in the SSPS mission. Sisters offer free medication, counseling, nutritional diet and awareness camps for them. 
in a world of seclusion and segmentation. The sisters' presence reflects the compassionate and inclusive love of Christ. We are also involved in various other ministries like caring and educating the mentally and physically challenged, youth ministry, providing education to the street children, accommodating and caring for senior citizens, working for justice and peace, and family apostolate. Dreams, hopes and desires for the congregation that we, SSPS missionaries of today, be always inspired by the wisdom and missionary vigor of the previous generations throughout 125 years. We keep alive the historical memory through the constant updating of our missionary charism always in the light of the Spirit, so that our history will continue by the ideals and visions of our founder, Saint Arnold Jensen. <laughs>